software, but this is about leveraging these automation tools and these AIs and all of these things that can work faster than us. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe you have an agency or you have a product or you have something that you want to sell to businesses or other entrepreneurs. This just takes what you're trying to do and it puts it on freaking hyperdrive steroid game. OK, so I'm about to share this video right here. I got two of them. Make sure you stay. OK, so it's not too many people showing real proof of how they're making money with chat GPT. So what I did was I came over here and I asked chat GPT to do the best keyword research and scrape all of the keywords for plastic surgeons, uh, chiropractors and dentists. What is going to happen? I am going to automate a way using an AI bot to send them a link to my funding opportunity where they can get new equipment and pay their employees or whatever. And I could get commissions for that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send to thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of these doctors at the same time, this affiliate link. And guess what? It's going to go to their sites and it's going to fill out thousands and thousands of contact forms while you guys do this manually. So all of these guys in Google, they're going to get a message from me. How? We're going to come over here right now. We took the data that we had from uh, chat GPT and we plugged it in here as keywords. We're going to open up project settings. And as you can see, all of the keywords suggested by chat GPT are inside here. OK, so then what we do is we're going to close this out and watch this, guys. I told you guys I'll show you every dang on thing, man. All right. We're going to press start and scrape new websites. And as you can see down here at the bottom, look, already is scraped 43 websites. All right. These are chiropractors, dentists, plastic surgeons, people that have budgets between five thousand to twenty thousand dollars easily. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them the funding. And what's going to happen with the funding after they get their equipment, they're going to have enough money left over for us to do some magnifico marketing. All right. And this idea all came from chat GPT. Told you guys. So we use chat GPT for ideas research and what will make us the most money and we combine it with other AI tools and automation tools to do the outreach in mass uh, effect. OK, so as you guys can see, this works is already scraped around 285 uh, websites. So what's going to happen is once it's done, you would then press stop right here and then you will click uh, again. And then you would send the messages, but I want to keep it running so that I can send these later. OK, so I'll go more in depth on the training tonight when you guys are with me live. Ready. So what do you guys think about that first part right there? Put a one in the chat or just type in their awesomeness. All right. So we're going to say what's up to a few people that's on here. Mrs. Cynthia Russell. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Welcome. Ben Venito, you understand in my Panama accent, right? <laughs> Panamanian accent. Okay. Uh, Contrix Beatbox says, I'm here and I support your work. I appreciate it, broski, or, you know, fam. All right. What's up, Muhammad? You're back again. Check into Rec and let's begin. Party on, party on. All right. Jerron, what's going on with you? Alan, hello. I own an e-commerce business. Great to meet you. Great to meet all of y'all. Cynthia, tell us what you're doing. Jan, uh, it says, I'm a developer. Don't have any assets. Well, guess what? If you're a developer, you have the power to create assets, though. Listen, we got to get out of the plantation mindset. I'm going to teach you to build digital plantations. Oh, that comes off. That might come off. Woo. Oh my God, are we offended in 2022? Every or two, oh my God, 2023. Everybody get it to the point where they want to cry about everything. So it says Telegram is also a winner. GPT sucks if you have a specific question. Uh, as I said before, it's not perfect. There, that's why they're already getting ready to come out with the GPT four, right? But you can still leverage it, guys. Don't look at it as a replacement for you. That would be scary. Look at it as an assistant for you, right? Quit looking for iRobot to happen because what's going to happen when iRobot happen, you're going to turn into I am legend if you get what I'm trying to tell you. So we don't want iRobot to happen. We don't want it to turn 
into our replacements. We want to keep them at a point where it's just helpful to us. All right. Uh, Gary says, I am creating assets that deal with frequency, well-being. Uh, some would call it a frequency medicine. That sounds super interesting. Make sure you guys are taking screenshots at the chat because some of these people might be millionaires or more in the future uh, leveraging all of this type of stuff. I know I'm going for the B word. And I ain't talking about the female dog. <laughs> I'm going for the B word. OK, um, let's see. I'm in finances and health and wellness. This is what I'm trying to say. You can go and look up Google the top tools. What type of tools would help streamline or, or, or uh, make things more uh, uh, simplistic for the health and wellness industry? Things that can take away the use uh, of a person having to do a lot of paperwork and all of that extra stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like research that type of stuff. And then when you find an app that's like that, you just Type it into chat GPT. See if you can extract the coding uh, in PHP or whatever it is, whatever language you want to do of this app, chat GPT. And then you go and make a hybrid. You don't want to copy it. You make a hybrid. So you find a top two or three apps in the health and wellness space and you see if you can clone the coding for it and you create a hybrid inside chat gpt then you take the coding and you go to fiverr and you tell the developer 50 to 100 bucks put this together and make an actual tool out of this that i'm going to charge a subscription for from uh for medical offices and clinics and hospitals and all of that boom there you got an asset that is helping the industry out and putting money in your pocket baby all right so check this out uh he said he's spitting that fire all right yeah self-made says this is still mind-blowing listen it's only gonna get better y'all it's only gonna get better um <laughs> I mean, if you like Chat GPT, man, wait till they wait till you see what they got next, man. I, I've been hearing some things. It's scary, er. <laughs> it's scary, er. But it's also more exciting. Listen, it ain't gonna take me over because I'm an ally. <laughs> I'm an ally. Listen, I'm a cyborg right now. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm a dang on cyborg. You, you ain't taking me out. All right, so Edward says, awesome. This is definitely what I need. I'm a business funder for Equip. Woo! Did you see the first part, Edward? I don't know if you saw the first part where I showed the uh, the video of us using the software where it's going to fill out a gazillion contact forms on websites. So what you would normally do manually, try to go to a website, find the contact page and fill out the contact form and get them to respond back to you. And, hey, let's set up an appointment. And I can offer you funding. This software can send out 200, 300 messages per minute. Fill out all of these contact forms for you. So your inbox is just flooded with appointments and, and all of this extra stuff and a whole bunch of people giving you the middle finger, too if I'm being honest. But if you set up the automations, how I teach you, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, Cynthia Russell said, this is a time saver and money maker. Yes. Yes, Lord. That's what I'm saying. Look at the positive parts. Well, speaking of looking at the positive parts, guys, I have to give you an update on you to me. Okay. So I'm always going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> and I told you guys in the first video, a lot of this stuff would change and we have to go back and we would have to revise things. So <sighs> Pictori can still replace two jobs, but the third job is still going to have to be done by a human. I didn't told y'all some of these jobs might still have to be done by a human. So at first, when I was telling you guys uh, at the beginning of the week, that Udemy will allow you guys to upload it with the AI voice from Pictori. Not anymore. A lot of people have been getting called back and saying they need to re uh, human, uh, actual human voice to record it. So we can play the aww sound effect right now, and we can act like it's the end of the world as we know it, and we can turn into Justin Timberlake and cry a river if we want to, or we can just say, well, at least ChatGPT is going to still create the entire course outline for me. <laughs> at least Pictori is still going to create the entire video. All The only thing I got to do is voiceover. 
All I got to do is read the script that chat GPT created for me. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's, I just can't take it. I still have to lift some type of finger. Oh my God. Yes, this is sarcasm, guys. So I, that goes out to the guy that was in my comments earlier whining, <laughs> talking about, look, hey, man, you to me said that I can't do this. Okay, you pivot. We talked about pivoting yesterday. You adapt. You understand? You turn into a chameleon. The whole goal of this chat GPT stuff and this AI stuff is to make things easier. It's not a freaking cure for life. You understand? The scripture says the crown goes to he that endures to the end. Enduring would imply that you're going to have to go through a lot of dang on obstacles. Good men are tried in the furnace of, aver of adversity. Do it. Do you think it feel good to be in a furnace? No. That means you're going to go through stuff, dude, to get to the top. You understand what I'm talking about? You think I got where I am without any problems? Quit whining. We are all grown men and women. People coming in the comments are, <laughs> I can't believe I actually have to do the voiceover. But you don't have to write the script, though. Yesterday, I showed you guys, okay, how to pivot if ChatGPT does come with some content from the internet that's already from something else. Remember that? Who was on here yesterday? Did I did I panic? Did I go into a state of panic and melt away? And, oh, I got embarrassed in front of my audience. No, I just went back into chat GPT and I said, change the names of the characters. Change the names of the characters. Instead of it being a romantic book, make it a romantic comedy. And then I said, make it during the holidays. Created an entirely original script for that book. And you just, you just pivot, guys. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Yes, yeah. uh, Pavel says modify. Colleen says, have an e-store and a network marketing, travel and trade. So what I'm showing you guys today, it would be magical for network marketing as, as well as e-commerce sites and creating partnerships. Whoa, she's in Jamaica. Uh, Colleen says, I'm interested. I signed up and I text you. What's next? I need to build assets. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys what's next. I've been dropping nuggets a couple times this week. You understand? Like I'm clumsy at McDonald's bars. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to have a course sometime in the end of uh, January, right around tax time. So you guys won't be acting broke. All right. So <laughs> what is going to is going to entail is going to have the course, of course, recordings and all of that extra stuff. But it's going to be a full in-depth eight week boot camp. So we're going to build assets together according to what industry you're in. I'm going to show you how to create assets today. I'm going to show you some more of my assets. I'm out and open with you guys. I show you everything. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to be one of them channels where they just go on there and just be talking about chat GPT. Like, I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I'm going to show you my failures. I'm going to show you what's monetized. I just accidentally showed you inside one of my funding accounts that I haven't been in in about a year. So you guys see that I practice what I preach in my Barry White voice. That's Barry, right? All right. Um, Colleen. Does your number start with a 437? If so, then I see it. Okay, so don't worry. We got you. Customer support will send it shortly. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the second part of that video. Okay, so for you guys that weren't there at the beginning of this, I will show this again at the end. Make sure you are here. I'm going to show uh, both of these videos uh, in, in, you know, right back to back, you know, uh, after we get done going over some di directories. Look at me stuttering and stuff, All right? <laughs> We're going to go over the directories that we didn't get to go over yesterday. So you want to use chat GPT's knowledge of customer acquisition, uh, conversion, and uh, creating an attraction to the assets that you want to build. So like I said, and you can use it for coding, but we're at the point where 
you don't you don't need all of that stuff. A lot of stuff is templated and white labeled and all of that. If you want a directory site, it can be a couple grand instead of back in the day, it was you know a million dollars. The Yelp website probably costs like millions to build. You understand what I'm talking about? But now a, a lot of this stuff you can just buy it off the shelf like some cereal. Okay, somebody else just text. <laughs> okay, so y'all are texting while I'm on here with y'all. Y'all might as well just ask the questions in the chat. Um, I'm going to show y'all that second part of the video. Stay on. All right, we're back about 30 minutes later or so. Uh, paused it or whatever. Part two. Anyway, as you can see, it scraped around 5,582 uh, contact forms from all of these websites. As you can see, is chiropractors, is uh, dentists, is plastic surgeons, all of these in the United States. So what we're going to do just for this example is and this all plays into the directory. So say you got your business directory instead of the funding link that I'm sending out, you will be sending them that. So we're going to stop that right here. I want to show you something real quick. Go to project URL. Go, you're like, well, okay, you show me the keywords. Yeah, it's real. Uh, what else? Okay, so then you come to the submission form right here. So as you can see, it's automatically going to fill out the captures in case you were wondering that. This is what it's going to do. It's automatically going to fill out the contact form. So it got the name, uh, <laughs> the name of the company, you know, email, the phone number. That's a tracking number, right? Okay. Then it's going to uh, give uh, the subject line right here. I need a doctor ASAP. Remember, this is targeting chiropractors, plastic surgeons, and dentists. And then it got the message right here. Howdy um you know i can hook you up basically okay so that's the message okay all right so now that you guys see that how do you send how do you start sending the messages so we're going to click on it again and then we're going to hit start so now as you can see it's highlighted it wasn't highlighted in the other video so all of those five thousand uh websites it's going to hit those websites up and start sending messages uh into the contact forms all at once so we're going to hit that uh it says use only selected items yes now uh, was asking me to preview my message one more time and then i'm gonna say do i want to yeah okay so continue boom so now it is busy and it's about to start sending the messages so it's just going to send the messages to all of those sites as you guys can see and that's pretty much how it goes okay so what do you guys think about that though that's crazy as you can see so the first one failed because i haven't set up the capture yet uh the decapture tool that's the thing that's gonna like bypass all the captures and everything like that so you'll see it right here when it says failed and then over here it will say uh sent if it actually went through okay so you just want to let this run in the background all day while you're working and everything like that so it's super awesome all right my sincerest apologies for my countenance in that video uh as you can tell i sounded extremely uh drained and tired uh my wife says that i'm supposed to be on the lion schedule i'm one of those people that are extremely energetic around 3 a.m 4 a.m in the morning but i probably need to have some type of cat nap around 12 noon or something like that for about 30 minutes to get back up and stay up again but today i forfeited that so around noon time when i was eating and stuff i was like trying to create all this stuff and make sure it was ready for you guys so i hope you appreciate that i forfeited my sleep for y'all man that means y'all are important do you understand this okay <laughs> all right so let's get back to the comments all right so uh jaron clark it says where can we find this software i'm gonna hit hook you up all right 
So make sure I don't forget. Make sure you like put it in the actual comments or go over in the Facebook group. Fung out right now. Open up another window and go to the Facebook group and you post that in there. Like, where is that software from the live stream where it's going to be sending a gazillion contact uh, form submissions to the websites? So imagine, OK, they go to the booking uh, calendar. All right. So you send this to all of the uh, uh, dentists and uh, let's see, who would you want to give funding to? I got in there dentists, chiropractors and uh, plastic surgeons. And it's talking about giving them uh, you're welcome, man. It's talking about giving them uh, funding for new equipment and the remainder of it. We will use to bring them in more customers. Look, I just gave you that, man. I just gave you the irresistible offer. Look at that, man. I ain't even charged nothing for it, man. See? But anyway, so basically a whole crap load of them are going to book the calendar. So what do I do? So I don't have to pay for a lot of VAs and closers and all of that stuff. It's something that used to work and still works pretty decently called a webinar. So instead of them actually getting on a call with me, whatever I was talking to them about when I sent them the booking calendar, the booking calendar is going to redirect to a webinar explaining the offer. Then that's going to have a call tracking number that they can create a time to talk if they actually need to speak to a human or they can just get text the uh, uh, the invoice. You understand what I'm talking about? Or if it's for funding or something, they'll just get the link. They'll just get the link to the funding program that we have. Boom. And once I see them in there that they apply for funding, if they get approved, then we can just commence to doing the marketing side of things in my marketing agency. Fully automated. Right. So <laughs> you see how simple this stuff is, man. All it is. Somebody said chat GPT is banned. Who is this? Alex Kroskin. Um, is banned where chat GPT is not working right now. It's not banned, man. OK, it. A lot of the time is just flooded with people. You understand? Do you understand that majority of the world is talking about chat GPT right now? You understand? So like they're, they had, they weren't ready for that. All right. So even if it go down for a while, listen, you're not crippled guys. You don't, what I'm trying to show you guys is this is why I was talking to you guys about building a moat around yourself. Your business can't be dependent on one source. You understand what I'm talking about? One power source. What if you get unplugged? You understand? You need to have a backup generator if you get what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I'm in Panama. I need a backup generator out in this. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So this your business needs to have backup generators. So if chat GPT was to go away. How were businesses ever getting by without chat GPT before? You understand what I'm talking about? You use this when it's available. And guess what? It's too powerful. So it's not going to stay down. OK, I'm over here refreshing the page It's down right now. But do you understand how powerful and how much money this is going to make? So it will be back shortly after these messages, maybe. You understand what I'm talking about? Because chat GPT four has to come out. It's going to come out. It ain't no it's not it's, it's no stopping this stuff. There's no stopping it. You understand? Only God can stop this stuff. All right. So Kevin Clark and two others commented on a post. Uh, yeah, man, I need to be active in that group because you understand what I'm talking about? Like, listen, I don't do this for my health, man. I work out for my health and eat right for my health. I do this for for business and money and fun. All right. So Jason Blake, he said courses can be done with this right. Yes. We're going to talk about the courses, too, today. All right. Mrs. Cynthia says, yes, it gets busy sometimes, but comes back up. It happened to me. It happens, yo. It happens to any site. Do you remember a couple years ago when Luke Cage came out? Yes. Luke Cage. You understand? The bald brother on Netflix with the superpowers, like when Marvel was killing it on Netflix. You understand? He broke Netflix. He made history. 
<laughs> the first black man to break Netflix. No, I'm just playing with you. But he broke Netflix. Netflix, when when the first day Luke Cage came out, Netflix broke down. Like <laughs> that's how many people flooded it. So what do you think is happening right now with this? This is like a phenomenon. You can search in Czechoslovakian language. They're talking about it and that they're talking about it in Italian, Spanish, all of that. So many people are on in the first three days. I think a million people are on there. You understand what I'm saying? And nothing has ever like happened like this before. So you gotta be, let's work some patience, y'all. So if it's down for a little moment, oh, your brain got to do a little bit of work. Okay. Until it gets back up. Uh, Cynthia said, how can I get in the group? Okay, I'll repost it right here. There we go. Yep, Cynthia said, Luke Cage was a hero in the hood. Yes, yes, Lord. Okay, so somebody else, Art says, I want to be the bank. You can be the bank. I don't know if he's referring to my um, asset vi uh, uh, videos that I have on the channel. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I haven't done one in a couple of weeks, but you know, one of the platforms that we build out for uh for customers or clients rather are banks, online banks, like clones of Cash App, PayPal, that type of stuff. So imagine owning your own bank and you have even if you had 200 users, because somebody somebody was who please don't come at me with the negativity, y'all man. Please, I don't like pessimistic people, right. OK, so somebody was like, look, <laughs> in a group this morning, look, hey, I think you leading people straight. <laughs> how, how are we going to compete with these big industry uh, titans? How are we going to compete with a directory against uh, uh, Yelp? OK, um, the same way Angie's listed, Home Advisor, <laughs> um, Thumbtack. Do you think. Just because somebody created some can, people can't create some else. What is wrong with people? Where's the fight? This is like the softest generation ever. Where is your fight? Why? Are you, oh, well, somebody already know. Oh, I better not go there. What are you talking about? That means they proved the business model works. That means you don't have to test or, or, or try it out. You know it's going to work. OK, so you get your share. So what I tell people is replace your income. OK. So when we build these banking platforms, so we have, uh, I'd say about seven to 15 different people that we built these banking platforms for. I tell them the niche, Quit, don't try to compete really with Cash App or anything like that. So we have people that own little banks in their towns, all right? And they get users from their towns and they deal with the business owners from their towns. They become the man in their town. Even if you had 200 users on your banking platform, do you understand that people spend thousands of dollars a week? Do you understand that it takes on a life of its own? Have you ever got a call from the bank and they told you, man, you need to use your debit card, man. We're trying to get paid, man. Come on, dude. No, this is what I'm talking about. When these platforms these assets that you build, they take on a life of their own from users. So if you own a banking platform, that means they get debit cards, right? That means when they swipe the debit card, you get paid from the transaction fee. Why do you think when you send someone a hundred bucks, they only get $97 because that platform gets the three. All right. When you take something out of the ATM, the ATM owner gets a fee. Uh, gives a piece and your bank gives a piece. And some of the debit cards have a monthly maintenance fee. Do you understand the business models here? So you don't have to have a gazillion users on your platform, guys. So what I'm going to come out with, the course that I'm going to show you is exactly what I'm doing. I can't teach you anything I don't know about. I'm never going to act like I know everything, guys. Pride comes before the fall. So I build assets that I can pass down to my children because the Bible commands me to leave an inheritance for my children's children. So these assets, some of them are small. Some of them might only bring in a couple thousand a month, right? But they can grow, they got potential. And then others are gargantuan. But I'm not really trying to compete with anybody out there. I find business models that work, create assets in those industries and build little communities around them. It could be 500 users on there. That'll still replace your nine to five income.
If you got 200 people on your banking platform and they're buying their, uh, uh, getting their Starbucks in the morning, they're paying their Netflix bill online, they're swiping when they take their mistress to the uh, dang old hotel, they're paying for their flight to freaking uh, Disney World. All day, you got two, two to 300 people on there just swipe, 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 payment, 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 and you're getting a piece of every single transaction fee. Or let's say that you get a restaurant owner that owns a chain of restaurants to give all his employees your debit cards. He pays their uh, wages weekly through their debit cards, and they spend their checks using the debit cards that you own. You're getting a piece of all of that. Come on, y'all. Woo! All right, so I'm <laughs> I'm just talking about this stuff. This is not a sales pitch. Um, you know, uh that the bank right now, the holiday, you know, we've been doing the 5k special for that. <gasps> oh, that's a lot. No, go to Google. Nobody's doing this for less than $20,000 except for me. So, you understand? And it ain't because I'm Santa Claus and some some crap like that. I just believe like I told you before, I see the back ground of everything it's, it don't cost 20 grand or nothing like that to build the banking platform a lot of this stuff is just the connecting and communications of already pre-built codes and apps and stuff that's out there making them communicate with each other to run seamlessly in the background type stuff you understand what i'm saying so uh and then so we show you which cities and states that you don't need licensing in that you can just go ahead and start getting users on your banking platform. So we build a lot of assets on our channel. That's all I talk about. I don't teach people to be slave minded or work for anybody else. I teach you to be a business owner. You, that means you have to own assets. I don't want you to just be an entrepreneur. I want you to be a business owner. Entrepreneurs, they make money. Okay, I made $3,000 drop shipping a t-shirt. Oh, very good. What about owning the print and demand website that people are selling their shirts through? You understand? So that's the, that's the type of stuff that we talk about over here. All right. Um, Cynthia Russell said the same way Netflix took out Blockbuster. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Netflix. It's like, ain't nobody going to be buying no movies online. <laughs> I bet they like, yo, I'm an idiot. Oh, if y'all do the same thing, you're going to feel stupid. Don't be afraid of this stuff. Right now, it's just stuff, but it's going to be gold one day. You understand? So I tell people, listen, go. A lot of people talk about that blue ocean strategy. Bull crap. That's the coward's way out. I want to go into shark infested waters. And start ripping tails and fins off. You understand what I'm talking about? So what I'm saying is, if you go in the uh, <laughs> on the side where all the competitors are, and you have a unique proposition, you still get the same reaction as if you were in the blue ocean. If you get what I'm talking about, let's say you created an alliance with all of the sharks. Now you got all of these partners that's your cheerleaders. All you have to do is have a unique positioning that makes them feel as if you're not their competitor anymore. Like, oh, you guys are all SEO agencies. Even though I do SEO too, guess what? I do automation. So how about this? I'll send you guys some of my SEO clients that I don't want to deal with every month. And you guys give me access to all of your freaking clients that need to automate a lot of their stuff. So now you just turned that whole red ocean into freaking friendly, lovable sharks that you can just walk up and pet like you can do that now. So that's all money for you. So don't listen to these dudes out here that's talking that stuff. Uh, you said, see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. and now you're here. 3 p.m.? Mm, I don't know who I said 3 p.m. to. I said 5 p.m. Eastern. If you go and look at the live stream uh, from yesterday, the replay, you'll see that it's always been 5 p.m. Uh, sorry if it's a misunderstanding. Uh, so Ferg Future said, is chat GPT down? 
Uh, it seems as if it's down for the moment. Every website has those issues, you know, due to servers and traffic sometimes. Um, let's say it did get banned. Is this the end of AI? Is this the end? No. Do you know how much money is in this industry? So it's, it, it, it'll be back or something like it. So you just pivot, guys. You pivot. You be patient, guys. Like, listen, just because it's going right now don't mean it's going to be going all day. It could kick back in tonight. It could kick back in in the morning. Your whole goal should be right now to figure out what assets you're going to build. So when ChatGPT does pop back up, and guess what? It's always been a version of ChatGPT around called Google. So even though it's not as um, human as ChatGPT is, it can still come back with some good. Don't 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 betray Google like that, y'all. Y'all ain't got no loyalty, man. <laughs> All right, so it can still help you. For a moment, Google was your homeboy, right? So check this out. You write out your asset ideas. When we when I come with the course, somewhere in the, the week of, I don't know, January 20th, somewhere up in there, when I come with that course, the asset empire, I'm going to show you how to build a moat around yourself. Four, maybe four to seven assets we're going to build comprising of tools, different types of apps, and different types of sites, okay? We're also going to have the little low-level stuff in there, like what we were talking about at the beginning. You guys were attracted to the ebooks and the courses and stuff. That stuff makes a lot of money, guys. Awesome. But there are... Uh, uh, <laughs> Some of them can be evergreen. If you if you're if you're lucky, it can be evergreen. The problem with a lot of evergreen um, content is that it takes a second to pop off. Most of the time, the money uh, from courses come from trends, but that also means it goes pretty fast too. So courses are awesome. Books are more evergreen and long lasting. You know, have a longer life shelf, uh, shelf life and everything. Uh, so those assets are good. But I really use those assets for positioning and gateways to my higher ticket type of things that I want to sell to people. You understand what I'm saying? Positioning, positioning yourself as an authority. Remember, I told you the three steps. OK, for a profitable business, you want to position yourself to leverage others and then you profit recycle, positioning yourself uniquely in your market as that authority where people have to go to you for whatever it is you do because they can't get it anywhere else. OK, so once you're positioned, now you need to leverage. OK, you get your disciples the same way that Christ did. He's like, OK, I can sit out here and yell all of this stuff or I can get 12 other people to go and yell all of this stuff. And when I leave and go back with my father, these 12 dudes can go and recruit, recruit more. This is your first network marketing scheme, if you want to call it. <laughs> Christ told them disciples to go into all nations and make disciples of all nations. And 4,000 years later, we are still speaking his message. So his business model works. Um, so you want to do these things, guys. But first, you need to be positioned. How are you going to position without an asset? When you look at the interviews from all of the CEOs and all of that stuff, come on, what's the common theme? They're not standalone entrepreneurs. They're business owners. They own assets. The Elon Musks that you love, he ain't a dang on freaking drop shipper. The uh, freaking Jeff Bezos, he's not a drop shipper. But he owns a platform that everybody makes videos about drop shipping on. Peter Thiel, PayPal. He ain't out here making his own videos about that type of stuff or nothing like that, right? <laughs> but he owned he owned the platform and it made him and everybody else made the freaking platform popular. You understand? Like if you want a legacy, you have to own something. Okay, so um so Ferg Future says there is other AI softwares online at the moment. Google AI chat for sure. Um, YG boy says, by the way, what's the difference on your thing that you're selling than any other one 
they're doing the same. But first of all, I would challenge you. Remember, pride comes before the fall. So I might talk cocky a lot, but it's not, it's not that. It's just I've been doing this for so dang on long. And I do the same or deeper research than you guys do. So I really don't open my mouth unless I'm sure. I've watched a lot of ChatGPT videos and a lot of people talk theory, but I've barely seen anybody actually building anything from these AIs or, or any of that, except for maybe a few coders. Like those are the ones that are like doing action and stuff. But then it's a whole legion of just YouTuber dudes. If you go back on my channel, you'll see I've been building assets. That's what makes me different. You understand? So when I talk about this stuff, I actually sell it and I actually use it. Maybe you just came on, but I was showing some of my assets. I've been showing my assets all week. Hey, I, even when you get on my list, when you sign up to Builderall, I send you one of my AI bots that we built so that you can use it for prospecting. So I don't know what channel you go to where he's actually sending you or she's actually sending you AI for free that you can go and use to make money. If so, put it in the chat. Let me know. Let me know. Cause then I can, I need to step my game up. You understand? Um, Edward Penning said, I definitely want to build a tool like the one you showed us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen, guys, we talked about standing on the shoulders of a giant yesterday. So just because something exists does not mean you can't make it better. Come on. They sell the iPhone every freaking year. They sell the Galaxy every year. It's the same product. They just might add an extra clean camera or a, a, a new feature where you can bump the phones and get the contact information or it can uh, change your voice and, and do auto tune or something, but it's still the same dang old product. So people kill me when they be like, yo, dude, there's already some stuff out there like that. So <laughs> that means it works. Listen, look on the bright side of stuff. That means it works. Do you know the hardest part of being um, an entrepreneur or a business owner, figuring out what works? All of the years that it takes people to become successful, majority of it is because they don't have the success blueprint. Implementation is not like that's the most important part, but implementation is not the part that takes the longest. Once you know exactly what to do, it's real easy to partner to get funding. It's real easy to get a little education to implement it. It's real easy to, to like figure that implementation part out. So the hardest part is figuring out how to make it work. How does this work? Which is why y'all are all over the internet trying to figure out how stuff works, right? Am I wrong? So once you know how something works, boom, you can take off. So guess what? That's why the Bible says, let all your ways be established. All your ways need to be proven so that you don't have to go through trial and error. Why go through trial and error? That's a spirit of pride. I want to be able to say that I did it all on my own and reinvented the wheel. That's a spirit of pride. And it's going to take you 30, 40 years because there's nothing new under the sun. Most of the great inventions that you see were built off of other ideas and they just made them better. When you build one thing, that thing has problems. And then somebody that's smart, they see those problems and they create a solution for that. But then this new thing that was a solution for that has side effects too. And then somebody else smart says, hmm, I can fix those. And they create something else for that. Come on. It's T-Mobile, Sprint, Cricket, Verizon. They're all phones. Just because something was built before don't mean you can't build it. All right. So he asked, uh, Jaron says, number one, positioning. Number two, leverage. Number three is profit recycling. So this is so that you can um, accelerate your business flywheel. Profit recycling. The Bible says that you're supposed to put have in your storehouse. Save it for a rainy day. That's what we call it. Storehouse will be considered today a bank. And then you're supposed to invest the rest. 
See, we don't think the Bible has the keys, but it does, right? <laughs> you're supposed to store half and you're supposed to invest the rest. But if you listen to Alex Hormozzi, he'll tell you, spend it all or invest it all. I mean, if you listen to Grant Cardone, he'll say, invest it all. That's the dumbest stuff ever. You understand what I'm talking about? All right. Uh, you build it and they will come. Well, maybe back in the day, but not anymore. It's not too many people walking. What if your business is on, on a dead end street? I mean, you want location, 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 but what if you ain't got money like that to get the good intersection where all the good walking traffic is? So if you build it, they won't come. Nobody will know you're there. So that's why online marketing became awesome. Because even if your business is located in a bad area on a dead end street, if you know how to advertise and market, you can target those people. And when they come in as a lead, you can give them directions to get there. So, no, if you build it, they won't come. You have to build it and then you have to make your partnerships and do your advertising and then your outreach and all of that stuff, too. OK, um, Cynthia says, can I use this platform to get grants just as it would build a business plan? Uh, which which platform are you talking about chat GPT? Yes, you can ask it to write you a proposal if that's what you're asking me. I think I think that's what you're asking me. Uh, Eric Daniel says I just finished the cover. I think I need to polish it a bit. Check this out, y'all. I said we're trying to build a community right at the beginning. If you're not in the Facebook group, then you're going to miss out when I am done with our own social media network, the first of its kind. Oh, you're like, oh, but it's Facebook. Oh, somebody already invented Facebook. But correct me if I'm wrong. It was a freaking MySpace before it was a Facebook. And ain't Facebook dying out? Ain't Instagram on its way? Ain't there something called TikTok now? So just because something was created don't mean it ain't going to be nothing else. OK, so my point is this, guys. We're going to have our own social network that we can congregate in that I can talk to you guys about things, business things that I can't talk about to you on YouTube, especially not on Facebook's FBI freaking contact information uh, <laughs> spying. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, so when that's done, that should be finished this week sometime. I'll make sure you guys stay in contact. You guys are going to have access and you'll be able to get on there. Um, yeah, chat GPT is down, y'all. And for how much time will it stop? I have no idea. I'm not a builder of it. Check this out. Please don't make me an idol because God destroys idols. It's okay for me to come on here and teach you guys what I know, but I'm just a man. I'm flawed. I don't know everything. I'm not perfect. Please, please don't put me in a position to get destroyed by God. Okay. I can teach you what I know, but I don't know everything. All right, please. All right. Um, Tiz says, I love that you can apply biblical principles to business building. Tiz, welcome aboard. Please make sure you subscribe so you can come along for the ride. And I'm going to share everything because I ain't got nothing to hide. Listen, on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, tell your pastor to stop lying to you. We're going to go live. I'm going to share my business biblical principles with you, me and my family. Yes. Yes, guys. I'm not, I don't hide. So my son is going to read and I'm going to translate. You understand? And you're going to see the reason why all of these businesses are so, so gargantuan and they, it's so effortless is because they use biblical principles that they hide from you. We've been taught to Think that that book is a fairy tale. Oh, it feels good when I'm in the middle of foaming at the mouth like a demon calling at the Holy Ghost. That's not the Holy Ghost, by the way. Um, but all of the biblical principles in there made all of these billion dollar companies that grow exponentially. And you're like, how the hell do they? How? How does it just happen like that? Watch. Watch what I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it with all of the assets that I am building this year. You need to come along in the in the week, the, the week of the 20th, some maybe the January 27th or something like that. I'm going to release the course. So make sure all of you guys are here. I'm giving you a heads up. It's going to be somewhere in the price range of my other course, Godfather of Drop Service. And I drop that 
at the beginning of the scamdemic and made a crap load of success stories. If you were here the first day we went live, a couple of my students were in here and they were telling you guys, you understand what I'm talking about? While everybody else was panicking gay, gay, and running around getting the freaking pig blood injection at the beginning of the scamdemic and going broke, we were floating, you know what I'm saying? And, and like just, just chilling. I was in Mexico living it up. It's a recession. People ain't got money, please. We was making a lot of it. Okay, so this course right here is going to teach you longevity. You're going to build assets. It's called Asset Empire. You're going to build, um, I don't want to overwhelm you guys, but we're going to build a number of assets that will surround you. There will be your little insurance policies surrounding you and your family that you can pass down as an inheritance like the Bible commands. You understand? And they don't have to be billion dollar companies. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all since the beginning of today. They don't have to be billion dollar companies. They can be modest companies, but they're going to be passive income. We talked about that the other day, creating an asset, putting the work in up front one time, and then it continues to pay you over and over and over. So if you create a moat around yourself of these passive income streams, <sighs> To take on a life of their own, I can't tell you the freedom, dude. And I only know this freedom because God tested me. He brought me low. You know, I wouldn't compare myself to Job because he told Job, but up. <laughs> he told him up to test his faith. Boy, please don't do me like that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? But he did test me. Google did an update and wiped out 80% of my freaking assets that were on Google. This is why you're creating an asset empire now. You don't want to be dependent on any one platform. I was dominating Google. It was getting to the point that I was so prideful. See, pride comes before the fall. I was like, dude, only way Google can destroy me is if they like reset their whole system and boom, <laughs> they did it. So now I learned from my lessons, y'all. We're creating assets, assets with an S that we control. We're not depending on the traffic from any one source. You understand? And I want you guys to be like that. You understand? When your kids come to you and you can tell them, I don't even want you to know how to spell the word job applications. Two words. My kids will never even know what a job application looks like. They'll never ever have to put together a freaking resume ever. You understand what I'm talking about? because of these assets, because I'm doing what the Bible commanded me to. So I want you guys to make sure you guys are here on Sabbath day, which is Saturday. I know you want to go out and participate in all the pagan bull crap, right? That's going on, but come on, gird your loins, strengthen yourself. If your business is this important to you, you guys can spare a Saturday. Okay. All right. So at 11 a.m. Saturday, y'all need to go ahead and set your alarms right now. We're going to go over it. We're going to start with Genesis, something that we all got misunderstood. It says be fruitful, multiply. Let's go ahead and go to that real quick. And I'll just give you guys a little uh, um, a little taste of what you're going to get um on saturday for those of you who are smart enough to show up the scripture says to be continually with a godly man the scripture says to stay in the midst of wise counsel so i know your friends want to go out on saturday but if you want to be in the midst of wise counsel not not trying to toot my own horn all my wisdom comes from above but i see god work through me you understand? He put his hand in my brain. What 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 Tupac says? Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel his hand in my brain. So when I go blind, I write rhymes and let the Lord do his thing. That's pretty much me. All of my business decisions are led by him. OK, so we're going to start with be fruitful and then we're going to get back to where we were starting, guys. Uh, we're going to go over the directories and all of that, guys. So just make sure you're here. Be patient with me. Remember what I told you. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not just going to teach you tips and tricks. This is not that channel. If that's what you want, then you don't want real business. You want some quick fix that's going to die out in a couple of months. I'm going to show you how to be a well-rounded, artistic business owner. 
You understand what I'm saying? All right. Um, Gary says Google changed something and they broke. They did not work anymore. I've experienced it myself. Yeah, dude, the algorithms and stuff, man, they took out. <laughs> I used to dominate what's called the snack pack. All right, the Google business profile section. I was in every niche. Um, freaking uh, uh, scuba diving certification, uh, garage door uh, repair. <laughs> All of those niches, dude. Like I literally had it. It was called the snack pack attack. Nobody was getting more leads than me. And they was like, oh, this man has to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, OK, so let's go. Let me share the screen, guys. Um, Cynthia says, OK, on Saturday, are you going live like now or is it in a group? Laura willing, the um, our social network would be done by then, but probably not. Um, so we'll just go live on here. Y'all seem to be able to show up decently on here. Right. So we'll just go live on here. But I will announce it in a group. I will be posting it in a pen comments. This is very important. When we read the Bible in my house, we don't read it as a Christianity spirit. That's fake. It was created by the Roman Catholic Church mixed with freaking a lot of pagan crap. You understand what I'm saying? So when we read it, we read the Bible as it is. We don't read it in some oh, 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 type bull crap. Is literally uh, uh, an instruct. It's a history book, a prophetic book, and it's an instruction manual for how to navigate through all things life, and all things would include business, right? Okay, so let's go to be fruitful and multiply, and we're gonna break this down. All right, <sighs> when you look at businesses like Microsoft, when you look at businesses like McDonald's, you'll see that they literally, literally manifested this okay so be fruitful we think that means to go out and have kids yes you can be fruitful and you can have kids right but we were given dominion right we're supposed to run this world all of us are supposed to be kings of a domain we all have gifts the same way that he puts a seed inside an apple and that seed is able to create more you understand you were sent here for a reason with something already in you we're taught to go out and find a gift somewhere what is my special go out and find it no it's already in you all right once you figure that out it's very easy to bless the world with your gift right all right so check this out be ye fruitful that means to produce something. <sighs> Isn't it a commandment to be ye like your father who art in heaven? The At the beginning of the Bible, he says he's a creator. Oh, my God. Everybody loves to talk about how they're created in his image. Well, if you are created in his image, wouldn't that mean that you're supposed to be a creator, too? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is he a worker? Is he a slave? No, he's a creator. OK, so be ye fruitful. You're supposed to pr produce something, create something of value. Then you multiply, multiply. What's up with your assembly line, your factory? How do you make this perfect product that you birthed over and over again? And then you bring forth abundantly. That means you're supposed to distribute. How do you distribute it throughout the world? And then you multiply there and you dominate the earth. So if you watch the movie, uh, what is it called? Uh, dang, what is it called? Is it, it got Michael Keaton in it. And I, it's one of my favorite freaking movies. I don't know why it's escaping me right now. <laughs> Uh, but it's about how McDonald's started. Like and, and Ray Kroc, he didn't even invent McDonald's. But the people didn't know what they had, right? So he went there. They had birthed something beautiful. And their system was awesome. They were able to make more burgers and fries than any restaurant in a specific set time. And they multiplied that. But 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 they didn't want to expand and go throughout the world like it says to bring forth abundantly. That's a commandment. If you create something awesome, 
It's commanded for you to literally dominate. People think you're being greedy if you want to dominate a space. It's a commandment. It says bring forth abundantly. You're supposed, you're commanded to dominate. See, look at all these business principles. So when you see Airbnb come in and they dominated the hospitality space, they didn't just participate. They dominated, like Conor McGregor said, right? When you see, um, <laughs> so that was Airbnb, Uber come and they just wiped out everybody else in the transportation. Engine. That's a commandment. It looks evil to the world because the world is contrary to the Bible. We're commanded to be like our father. He he said, there's no other gods but me. There's no other guys beside me. He's a dominant force. So if you were created like your creator, aren't you supposed to be a dominant force too? Aren't you supposed to create something and, and dominate with it? So these are just a few things we're going to go over on the Sabbath day, on Saturday. And it, when we're... When we're done, yeah, the founder. I appreciate it, Jaron. Ah, yes, that's that's one of my favorite movies, man. Like at first, it was Wolf of Wall Street. You know that one gets you hyped to sell like a freaking slave. But the founder, it embodies what that scripture that I just showed y'all was talking about. It embodies that. You understand? Literally, they created something awesome, and then Ray Kroc figured out how to dominate the freaking world with it. They didn't even want to do it. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat you out of this. I give you a little bit of money, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna dom dominate the world with this, right? <laughs> okay, so Muhammad popped up and said, "What's the best way to make money using ChatGPT?" That is a broad keyword that a lot of people is typing. That is literally the same thing as asking, "What's the best way to make money online?" Do you know? is a vast amount of business opportunities. The best way to make money online is the one that you come across that you can leverage to reach freedom. That's the best way. So if you type in what's the best way to make money with ChatGPT on ChatGPT, they're going to give you, I, I don't know what it's going to tell you guys, but I would say leverage the knowledge of ChatGPT to be what you are called to be in the first place, which is a creator. So you would be creating things using ChatGPT. You're not going to just get some, what should, what's the best drop shipping uh, products? <laughs> I've seen some videos. I told you, I've been watching these videos too, y'all. I've been laughing, dude, because people don't see the power of it. What's, what's, the, <laughs> what's the best drop shipping products? Valentine's Day is coming up. What, <laughs> what gifts should I get, right? No, listen. Create with ChatGPT things that you don't know. Use ChatGPT to fill in the blanks. You understand what I'm talking about? If you ever had a goal to build an app or some type of website, you understand, or some type of platform, an asset, that's what you use ChatGPT for to make money. That's all I'm going to talk to you guys about is assets. If you're getting bored, you need to go somewhere else because that's what I'm about. This is Anti-Job University. Here, I teach you entrepreneurship through asset ownership so that one day you can be rich enough to own a ship instead of being so broke you can only afford a ticket to get on a ship. Bars. And I mean all of that. I mean all of that, dude. I'm standing on it. I don't change with a trend. I don't care what's popular. We can talk about ChatGPT, but if you're not using it, to create assets that you own, then we talking about something completely different. I'm not going to tell you to go and drop, sh uh, dr drop ship somebody else's product all day or just be some affiliate marketer all day. I'm going to tell you, own the affiliate network. When you first got on here the other day, I showed you my affiliate network. Y'all, I don't think y'all get it. Let me let me share my screen with you again. <sighs> I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, and I, I got to just show y'all something because you need to see the power on average. So I'm pretty sure since y'all are looking up how to make money online, y'all have heard of platforms like ClickBank and Max Bounty and all of that stuff. Right. Right. Put a one in the chat. If you've heard of, um, if you heard of, uh, Max Bounty or ClickBank, please help me out. Class participation points. Help me out. Have you heard of ClickBank? 
Have you heard of Max Bounty different affiliate networks that you sign up for? Yes, Chaz. Yes, it's, it's called The Founder. I appreciate it. Okay, so thank you, Tiz. Hey, you still on her? I appreciate that. All right. Um, an affiliate network is just a platform that marries two wanting parties together. Okay. One wanting party is the vendor, a vendor that needs more sales to their business. So this vendor either pays or they're listed on this affiliate network completely free sometimes. Sort of like ClickBank. ClickBank allows you to list on there for 50 bucks or something like that. So if you got a course or a product, you can go to ClickBank and they'll put it on there. And then the other party is the affiliate. The affiliate is the person that works the digital plantation. I'm trying to say it in a nice way. <laughs> okay. So they don't own any business, but they want money. Yes. You don't have a care in the world if you don't have overhead or don't have to worry about legalities and all of that. If you're just an affiliate. Yes, sure. I appreciate that. But check this out. So they marry that. The affiliate comes on there. They find a product or the service or the uh, product that they want to promote. They get the link and then they go out and run traffic and sales and all of that stuff to that link. But the people that make money are three. So I talked about two parties, the vendor and the affiliate. But the person that doesn't really have to do anything but make sure affiliates are on the platform is the owner of the platform. So every sale that those hundreds of thousands of affiliates bring in, they get a percentage of that. They get a percentage of that. You understand what I'm talking about? So, like, who would you rather be, the affiliate? So, we're, we're just gonna go on Google. We're gonna say, on average, what does the average, how much does the average, um, okay, uh, passive income? Some people can make like $200 a day, you know, um, you can get 75% of the sale and all of that, blah, blah, blah. It's somebody named Robbie Blanchard. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard of his channel if you know anything about ClickBank. He's the number one, um, <clears throat> excuse me, number one affiliate on ClickBank for multiple years. And sometimes uh, he'll make around $100,000 a week. That sounds awesome, right? Don't that sound awesome? He brags that he doesn't have to own any businesses, don't have to do any customer support. Uh, any fulfillment, all he has to do is run traffic to um, <laughs> the affiliate links. I believe that's one of the most selfish ways to live ever. You understand? Because how do you pass affiliate marketing down to your kid, your son? That's going to take your name. You understand what I'm talking about? So I'm pretty sure he's buying real estate or something on the side that he's not telling his audiences because you can't sustainably pass down a skill. Your son might not be as good as you are at affiliate marketing. But if you own the ClickBank instead, you could pass ClickBank down to your son. So now that you know, I just use him as an example. Um, <laughs> $100,000 a week. Let's say that you made $100,000 a week or Wesley Virgin, if you ever heard of him before. He uses leverage through a lot of affiliates and he has a product on there and he makes sometimes $100,000 a day. That's awesome, right? That sounds cool. But like I told you the other day, the owners of the platforms, their incomes dwarf that. OnlyFans, the owner of OnlyFans, this dude pays himself a salary of a million dollars a day. What affiliate can do that? <clears throat> you, you have to own some stuff to be able to do that. Okay, so watch this. I just have to show y'all. <sighs> I have to show you. Okay. ClickBank net worth 2020. Somebody just sent me a message saying, build my bank. If you're on here right now, y'all, just make sure you uh, uh, be a little bit patient because I, I let I let them off early um, in their countries and stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. I don't know if you guys pay attention to, to international news and all of that. Uh, plus it's like 6 a.m. where they at. <laughs> okay. All right. So ClickBank, let's see. I'm trying to find a one. Okay. It has an annual turnover of $1 billion. Do you know what annual means? <laughs> 
that doesn't mean that's their net worth forever. It has an annual, a yearly turnover of $1 billion. Guess what? They don't have to run their own ads because affiliates run ads. They don't even have to recruit their own affiliates because affiliates will get a percentage if they bring more affiliates. You understand what I'm talking about? Like literally one of the highest profit margin business models ever, just owning a platform and bringing two parties together. You understand? All right. So then we got Max Bounty. Max Bounty is a CPA network. I logged into my account the other day. I showed you guys inside our account. It had $26,000 in there, right? But check this out. I stopped all of that crap when I seen this type of stuff. I'm like, why am I promoting other people's offers when if I just own a platform like that? $180.6 million. So I still want to continue being the digital plantation worker. Or do you want to do be the dude to crack the dang on whip? Well. He's not even the owner of the plantation. Do you want to be the dude sitting up on the dang on porch telling the dude to crack the whip? <laughs> All right, yeah, you're gonna don't be sensitive. Okay. So um Tan Coffee, what's up? Never never seen you on here before. He said, please put me under your wing. Like I said, uh somewhere around the 27th or the 29th, the boot camp will be dropping. Is a course plus boot camp. The boot camp is going to be eight weeks, eight weeks. By the end of this boot camp, this is the end result. You'll have multiple assets that you own that will have a modest amount of users per platform paying you through subscriptions plus ad revenue. These platforms will be instantly monetized through ad revenue so that you can instantly start earning back your return once users hit the platform so if you got let's say that okay i'm supposed to show y'all some more of my platforms today that i'm building out okay so i'm gonna show you a couple of my platforms before we start sending people there we already put our monetization monetization plans in there you understand so the first level is to put ads on there that way when you send the people there even if don't nobody sign up you're getting something you want to always make sure you're getting something right okay then you create the irresistible offer that's going to get you the sales or the subscriptions or the free trials and all of that extra stuff. But we're going to talk about that in the boot camp. And yes, this works for any type of asset that we're going to be building. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. The health industry, freaking construction, it does not matter. If you're building an asset, I am going to help you. Do the uh, Okay, so Muhammad says a book, ebooks, affiliates or courses. Hold on. He says, I meant, but I meant, what do you do? What do you people on the chat use it for? And do you make money out of it? Okay. So this is why I want to bring some of y'all on here. <sighs> okay. So we're currently putting up some eBooks. I'm going to show you guys some of the eBooks that we're putting up. Um, and we're going to put up some audio books as well, just so I can show y'all how it works. Okay. Um, but I need you to think bigger than that. Didn't you know that you can create a freaking platform like Audible. I told you guys, a lot of these platforms are clonable. I mean, if somebody said they're a developer on here that he can, he can vouch for me. Once it's created, like the blueprint is there, like a couple grand, you can have your own freaking platform. So all you have to do is scrape Audible or Amazon and reach out to them same people that got their books and audio books on there and say, hey, put your stuff on here. We'll take a less percentage for the first year. They're going to say, oh, snap. Hell yeah, because Amazon takes a lot of our royalties. So yeah, boom. You understand what I'm saying? You use that to get it going and then you add value on top of it so that you'll be able to charge more. <laughs> okay. Uh, does the boot camp cost? Of course. Of, of course, everything costs, right? How could I teach business and not do business? That would make me a hypocrite. You wouldn't respect me, would you? No, you wouldn't. Uh, Muhammad says, big up for you, brother. No, big up for you guys. I appreciate you guys showing up, man. Like, uh, 
This is what it's about congregating with like minded people. The scripture says same mind equals same judgment. So if we get on the same wavelength, we doing the same things, then we should get similar, at least similar results to each other, guys. Nobody can be a failure. All right. But you have to put in action in order to get the cash in. All right. I always teach my students that you ain't going to be able to cash in without action. Y'all. All right. So what's going on, man? When you see the super chat, you already know what to do with that. When you see the cash app, that's where you send the cash at. Do no, I'm just playing with you. Um, um, so it says big up. All right, so let me show y'all what I was talking about. Let's see. So now you know that owning the platform. Let me show you my affiliate network. <clears throat> this is Ty Job University. You can sign up for free, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We have things like, oh. What's so different about you? Why would I promote your offers over any other affiliate networks? Why don't I just go to Max Bounty or ClickBank? They're bigger than you guys. Well, we specialize in high ticket. In my affiliate network, you can promote things like exotic car rentals, where you're going to be getting thousands per commission. In mines, you're going to be able to get paid from booked private jet charter flights. 10, 10 grand. 12 grand. I haven't really seen other affiliate networks like that. We don't have a whole bunch of partnerships yet, but the things that you promote in there, the business funding and all of this stuff, you get huge chunks. So this is how I positioned us. If you're going to start out as the little guy, you might as well have something that the big guys don't. That's how you become the big guy one day. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is our affiliate network. We practice what we preach assets, baby. Then we got um, also for all of you guys on here that are selling things. I only recommend if you want your time, if you want time, guys, because time is way more important than money. Listen, time is way more important than money. OK, so I'm going to show you something on here for a lot of you guys that are new. This is our, uh, our dang on testimonial marathon right here. Just in case you didn't know if I was legit or not, this is the life changing client results marathon. It's a marathon, baby. Okay, so here's the book right here. Um, and we use biblical principles in this book. The name of this website is profitpositioningagency.com because we position people for profit, not leads or some bull crap like that. None of that stuff matters until it brings profit, right? All right. So market monopolies. Nobody else does market monopolies. Nobody else can legally do market monopolies like we do. That means I can charge whatever I want for it. I'm not talking about the book. I'm talking about the service. All right. So the book is called Only Versus Best. And this is not me trying to sell to y'all. I'm trying to show you guys through action, through uh, uh, um, practicing what I what I preach that a lot of this stuff is possible to change your life right here. So the audio book and ebook plus calendar is called only versus best. Would you rather be the only buying choice or would you rather be the best buying choice? Uh, that's a trick question to a lot of people. But if you were paying attention through the scriptures, you should know the answer. You should be the only choice. Because by default, if you're the only choice for people to buy from, they're going to automatically think you're the best choice anyway. If you go to Google and you search pizza delivery in your area and you only see Domino's, you're going to say, well, that must mean everybody else in the area is crap. But that could just be me doing the market monopoly for Domino's. Maybe their pizza sucks. But to you, since they're the only buying choice, it's just going to just the perception is going to be like, dang, they must be awesome. They're everywhere. See? Only versus best. That book will change your freaking life and business. Then we have the Affiliate Army course where we teach you how to recruit 250 plus highly trained assassin uh, advertisers and marketers to spend their own time, money, budgets, networks, social medias, connections to send you sales with no risk because you don't pay them a dang on dime at all until you get sales. Anyway, so that's 5K or you can spend 15K and we do it. Then this is where it really gets fun. This is the part where I want to show you guys. 
you need to have something like this. Something that nobody can get from anybody else. So this is the market monopoly. I wish I can show you all the inside of it, but then I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> then it wouldn't be so unique anymore then. But I don't think anybody could replicate it anyway. But time and patience, somebody might one day in the future. Right. It'll be another Michael Jackson one day. Right. <laughs> OK, so this is why we can charge forty seven thousand dollars for this, because anybody else in that area would be gone. If you know the definition of a monopoly, then, you know, this means complete and utter wipeout of anybody that would ever be considered a competitor in the area that any of our clients are doing business in, which is why they have to sign non-disclosure agreements to protect their identity and ours okay then we have the option that is ninety seven thousand dollars right here where they'll fly me out me and my wife and kids <laughs> did you, you watch that show wife and kids back in the day but anyway they'll fly us out all expense paid and that does not go into the ninety seven thousand dollars by the way all right <laughs> so they got to pay for the food all of that you understand what i'm talking about so i strongly recommend that you guys create something like this think on a higher level one day this is going to be converted to a course or not a course a mastermind that i will only be selling to heads of industries and this mastermind will be a million dollars each right now i'm still building authority to do that and how am i going to pull that off with these assets in this empire that i'm building see everything ties together i'm trying to show y'all how to do it you understand so you, right now, I want you guys to right now write down that I am going to create an offer for a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what it's going to be next. I don't, I don't know what's going to be yet, but I'm going to create an offer for a hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. So you can charge that to speak if you have a name. You understand? So it doesn't matter what industry you're in. So write that down. All right. Please write that down. So now let's move on to another one of my assets. Uh, hold on. Uh, damn. My mind just went blank, y'all. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's kind of hot and I don't feel like yelling in the back telling somebody to come get me some dang on water. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. What is that? Oh, fame. All right. So right now it's blank. We're still working on it. As you can see, it kind of looks like SoundCloud. This is what I was talking about, guys. <laughs> if it's already been built, it can be built again. The blueprint is there. It doesn't cost you millions anymore. It can just cost thousands for a developer to build you something that's already similar to something else. And then you add extra features that make it unique and, and create the irresistible offer that's going to make people want to flood to it. So this is going to be the music platform. It's called Fame Us, like fame-us.live. Okay, so watch out for that. Anyway, and you saw, <laughs> y'all saw all of my softwares. Uh, well, not all of my software. You saw a few of my softwares. You saw how I can go to Instagram and I can put in a hashtag rapper, singer, hashtag musician, artist, hashtag cover song. And I can scrape all of their DMs. I can scrape all of their following. I can scrape all of their phone numbers and emails. And I can do an email blast, a text blast, ringless voicemail blast, and a DM blast. And have all of those musicians take their music and put it on my platform. The good thing about um, music, the reason why I'm creating the platform kind of like Spotify or SoundCloud, is because with musicians and artists, you don't have to tell them to promote. They they're passionate. So when they create a freaking uh, profile on here, they're going to automatically immediately take the link and go and put it all over social media. And when they go viral, that means we go viral. And when people come over here, we're getting ad revenue and subscription. Just for owning the platform, I no longer have to be the uh, the artist. In case y'all don't know, I did music, right? But I don't have to. I don't even have to be P. Diddy, P. Diddy anymore. I can be freaking Spotify. 
You understand what I'm talking about? So this is the power of owning platforms. I ain't going to show y'all the social network yet because it ain't looking too impressive right now. So later on this week, um, Lars will, the social network assets that I own um, will be ready. You're going to love it, right? Um, let me see. What else? Okay, then we got properties, properties.rentals. And this is for real estate professionals and other people that want to, you know, make money with real estate or whatever. It's kind of like a Zillow slash Airbnb. So you can sell property on her and you can rent property on vacation rentals, all of that extra stuff. And uh, basically you could just, you know, pretty much like anything else. You just add a listing, you know what I'm saying? For sale or for rent, blah, blah, blah. Register for free. I don't feel like doing all that extra stuff, but then you just add the listing how you would do it on Zillow or Airbnb. Boom. I mean, it's, it's very simple. So I just created a platform. If you notice, it's a reoccurring theme with me. I create platforms that can take on a life of their own. Why? Because the users have a vested interest. All right. A realtor or wholesaler they need to get more leads. They need to get more sales and they have to have visibility. So they need these platforms to get the word out about their new listings. So I don't have to beg a, a, a realtor to freaking list on here that you remember that software that I showed y'all. I'm going to show y'all again in a minute. I can literally put the keyword realtor and put all the cities in there. And it will go and get all of the contact forms of all of the websites and from Google and Yahoo and Bing and all of that stuff. And it will fill out the contact form saying, guess what? Irresistible offer. Hey, if you guys never read that book, you better read that book. That's a homework assignment for y'all. It will change your life and business. It's called the irresistible offer. Listen, it changed everything for me. Facebook ads, all of that stuff. SEO, when people go to my sites, most of the time they convert if they got the money. They convert or they go and get the money. I've had people come back two years later and say, hey, I got it now. I'm like, got what now? Who are you? And be like, you don't remember I called you a couple years ago and I told you I was going, you know, I was going to get in your program. I'm like, dang, what the hell? Like, dude, they be like, is that offer still good from two years ago? <laughs> All right. So the irresistible offer. All right. So what I'm going to do is create an irresistible offer for these realtors because it does take work uh, to take your listings and put them over there uh, from uh, from from Zillow and the Airbnb onto a different platform. So what I'm going to do, kind of like what Jeff Bezos did, is I'm going to create a one click uh, uh, import type situation where it can just take their listing from Airbnb or Zillow and put it over here for them. Right now we can bulk import. They have a plugin from WordPress uh, where you can like scrape them. I can scrape all of the listings and stuff and I can bulk import them in here. But then I got to go through and do all these blasts and tell people to come and verify and claim your listing. No, I want them to put their own stuff on there. So I'm going to use the software tools that I've been showing you guys the past couple of days. Uh, and combine that with these assets that I am uh, building, just like I am going to teach you to do in this eight week boot camp that's coming up in the week of the 20th <laughs> of January. All right. Just I don't know. I can't I don't know the exact date. Just make sure you guys keep coming back uh, for updates. I'm going to make sure you guys know everything that's going to be inside the boot camp, how you're going to be able to build your assets or have your assets built for you and how they're going to be instantly monetized. All of your assets are going to be instantly monetized. Once they're built, they're going to be monetized all automatically. So all you need to do, just like all of these other platform owners, is get users on there. And as you can see, we already got tools, AI bots. And then let's say you want to do something fancy and run some ads. You can run some ads if you want to. I don't really run ads anymore because I got these bots and all of these automations doing a lot of outreach for me and it don't cost me anything. We build the tools, whatever it costs to build the tools or whatever. And now is I can advertise and do outreach all day completely like free and it can do it in the background while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, which is why I keep losing track of time. If I had to do it myself, I would have been got off of here. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I'm supposed to send out 200 emails. First, I got to go scrape Groupon. I got to scrape Groupon. No, I'm not doing all that no more. You understand? You're a boss, right? So I want you guys to understand. In order to be a business owner, you got to own a business. Not a landing page, a business. Okay? Um, TC Stills, <laughs> I like the name. It says, appreciate you spreading knowledge. Uh, juicy juice, juicy juice. <laughs> I like how you spelled that. It says, so what's the business model with the real estate agents? What do you mean? What's the business model? Their business model. They sell houses or my business model. You're asking me what my business, how I'm going to monetize that. Oh, dang, man. You can't hey, get in the boot camp. If you want that right there, I'm spreading a lot of stuff for free. Cause, but dang, you, you want that? Look, listen. I create irresistible offers, right? And I teach my students the form you love to create the irresistible offer. But I'm not going to give you my irresistible offer because a lot of people are lazy and you're just going to send the same message that I'm sending. And then the clients or the potential clients are going to start responding to me and saying, I heard it all before, like blue dang on control or whatever, right? Like, <laughs> They'd be like, dude, I heard that. It's not an irresistible offer no more. So when I reach out to people, they never, they'd be like, dude, I never heard of that. Wow, you can do that? You do that? How much did that cost? Don't you want responses like that instead of F off? You understand? When you have something that is irresistible, even when a person is in a bad mood, I, I have people tell me, look, I hate cold emails, but what is it going to take for us to work together? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. The scripture says God will make it to where your enemies become your footstool. Now, I'm not saying business owners are your enemies, but if he's talking about I hate cold email, that means normally he would have sent me a message saying F off, right? <laughs> so if he has to submit and actually work with me, even though he didn't want to at the beginning, that means the offer that I sent must have been powerful. All praises to the most high God. You know, um, Colleen says, love it. Sweet. Um, Tan Coffee says, good point. I thought that after I asked that question, yeah. Uh, Muhammad says, I wish I had 100K. Check this out. You don't have the wish. <laughs> Listen, money is not God, y'all. Like, once you realize that money does not, money is not power. Money comes after power. You understand what I'm saying? You can be broke today, but if you have a name, you can get that money right back. Let's say you got sued for everything you everything you got. If you built a reputation and power and authority and everything, people will partner with you again and get you right back on your feet. So you shouldn't be worried about 100K. You should be worried about how can you build something that's worth 100K? How can your name be worth that? Or way more, of course, because that's that's setting your sights too low, man. All right. I understand when you're in a position, we be one money and all of that stuff. Like 100K sounds good. Right. Trust me. Isn't is. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Uh, Muhammad says I barely have 70 dollars right now. But guess what? I was doing Bible study with my, my, my family this morning. We do it every day, not just on a Sabbath day uh, or nothing like that, especially not on no pagan Sundays. OK, we do. Bible study every day. And we came across the scriptures talking about um, God has the power to make a poor man rich suddenly. You ever saw how a person be going through something that just seemed like they cursed and then one day just out of nowhere, their entire life change? God, God can do that. You are supposed to set yourself up right now. Prep yourself. Do what you're supposed to be doing so that when that opportunity comes, maybe this is the opportunity. I don't know. But when that opportunity comes, you take that mug. Don't let fear or skepticism or negativity from bull crappers in the comments stop you or deter you from getting what is owed to you. You understand what I'm talking about? And that goes for everybody on her right now. Um, Muhammad said, who did make the website for you? My developers. Edward says, is this the software that you are giving 
when you sign up the better raw you talking about the one from the video that i showed a minute ago that i'm about to show again nah that's not my software to give uh but i can send that to you just go in the group like i said i told y'all to post that stuff in the group the things that y'all need post it in the group so i can be reminded and have that stuff sent to you guys uh it's going to be difficult to communicate if you guys are only talking to me on freaking uh youtube <laughs> All right. Like I create these assets and these groups and all of that so we can have a more personal connection. If you want a more personal connection, if you want, you don't have to. If you want a more personal connection, then you go in the group or you wait until the social network come out because I'm definitely going to be on the social network. All right. Um, let's see. So who built it for me? All of my, my developers build all of my only got a few developers and they build all of my stuff. So this is why the scripture says to make disciples. You have somebody look, Russell Brunson didn't build click funnels and he didn't have a hundred thousand dollars to build click funnels either. Muhammad, he made a partnership with a developer and coder. And he was like, look, I'm an awesome marketer. I got awesome sales skills. So if you build the uh, the software for ClickFunnels, I will be the voice. I will go and get all the customers and we'll be 50, 50 freaking partners. And they built a freaking gargantuan sized software company. You understand what I'm talking about? And he didn't have to pay that developer nothing. So you just need an idea that is valuable enough and a partner you don't need a million partners. I already reached out to some people and they said, no, they won't partner. So keep reaching out. Keep reaching out. You only need one developer or partner to say, OK, all right, let's do it. Give them a good business plan instead of going to get a loan with a business plan. <laughs> give the developer a good business plan. This is how we're going to monetize this thing. Listen, I know it's going to be hard up at, uh, you know, at the beginning, man, but we, we can do this. And I, I will, I will be the voice of it. I will, I won't have no sleep. I will get the word out. I will get us users on our platform. And that developer say, okay, let's do it. And boom, your life changes. So it don't hurt to try, right? Collaboration, man. Somebody said collaboration is the new currency yesterday. And that was good. <sighs> Tay too extra. I like that. <laughs> he said, uh, these are the YouTubers. I seek not the top ones where you get partial info. I appreciate that, man. Like I was saying, Mo, I saw uh, Graham, Graham Stephan. I like Graham Stephan, but he is a real estate guy. And now he's a, he's a stock crypto type dude, right? So my point is this. I just saw him do a chat GPT uh, video. I mean, once you get all the way up there and, and YouTube is your main income stream and you don't own any other real assets or anything, he got a course, but he don't own, like, it's no real bit. He tried to build a coffee business and that, that failed. So he doesn't really own anything other than YouTube. So in order to stay at the top, you do have to hop around on the trending topics. You do. You do. That's the only way to get some eyeballs on YouTube. Even I had to use that to get the eyeballs in order to get my message out there of asset ownership. So I'm using chat GPT, but the real message is that you need to own your own assets and leverage chat GPT to get knowledge and fill in the gaps of how to make those assets successful. Chat GPT is your assistant. You understand what I'm talking about? It's not your replacement. OK. All right. So uh, Edward said he posted it in the Facebook. All right. Cool, man. We'll get to it. Um, juicy. I really don't like saying this, especially if I don't know if you're a dude or not. Like if you're a chick, then I understand. But juicy juice, man, like. <laughs> are you a female? Let me know in the comments, man. Are you a female uh, <laughs> named Juicy Juice? It's a Juicy Juice, right? All right. <laughs> Are you a female? Please tell me you're a female, man, because I can't see what your thumbnail. All right. I, I'm not calling you that no more. I'm just call you JJ. Deal? Okay. <laughs> so it says, does Builderall have an IG uh, and Gmail scraper? No. No. 
That's uh, that's pretty much all they're missing is scrapers. But they do have an IG autoresponder. So when you do have your Instagram scraper and get all the DMs and have all that automation going, how I'm going to teach you, at least you'll be able to have the autoresponder in there. So, yes, you're still going to have to get an IG scraper for Instagram promotion and all of that stuff that you're trying to do. Um, L, <laughs> he was on here the other day, and I'm just now, like, peeping this. His name is L Cool J, but he's spelling E-L Cool J. That's that, Okay. Um, it says mid journey AI will be great for you. I was looking at it for the artwork stuff and everything, because not only did I do music, I was an artist as well. Like I can draw you guys like it will be like you're actually there. Like I'm on some Rembrandt type stuff. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> but I haven't did it in a long time since I had my children and got into business and all of that. Like I haven't really been able to do music, not their fault or anything like that, but like you kind of grow up a little bit type stuff, if you want to call it that. So I haven't really set aside time to get back into music and art and stuff. You know, I, I'm, I plan to this year, you know. Um, the new year is haven't started yet. That's something else we'll talk about on freaking um, on, on Saturday. Uh, the new year is actually begins in springtime. Why do you think everything is still dead where you guys live? Because... January is not the new year. Anyway, I'm getting too deep. I'm getting Andrew Tate Matrix style on y'all right now. <laughs> okay, so he said nice. Okay. All right. So <sighs> ebooks, courses, that's some of the stuff that attracted you guys. But let me know in the chat. Are you guys thinking further than that now? Are you thinking? assets like real assets now like what, what what are you guys thinking let me know in the chat like is your mind expanding now i'm not saying it's not you don't don't build you know like ebooks and audio books and stuff because those are still good like i told you i use those for positioning as you saw on my site i already have an ebook i already have audio book and, and all of that extra stuff but you know <laughs> the money is the the guy that owns Audible, not not the just the person that uploads to Audible. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so um TC still says exactly. Yahweh Shai was born on March 20th. Okay. And Edward says, I am I'm very interested in building a tool for marketing. See, good. Because a lot of people are just interested in being a good marketer. What if you're the person? behind the marketer. <laughs> okay. What if you're the tool behind the marketer? So a lot, a lot of people use this analogy. They say something about like, oh, the gold rush. We were talking about the gold rush the other day. So they say, look, listen, um, who do you think made the most at the gold rush? The people that picked up the gold or the people that sold the shovels? You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I mean, y'all. We have to look beyond just the the um the obvious money making uh <laughs> obvious money making tactic and trick and see what's really making money you understand what i'm saying how is everybody creating how are whole channels devoted to instagram how are whole channels devoted to tiktok all of these big um, YouTubers and all of this talking about somebody else's platform without them paying them to do it. And most of the time, yes, there's sponsorships and stuff, but TikTok didn't have to, Facebook didn't have to, none of these people had to. So how do you create something that takes on a life of its own? You understand what I'm saying? And other people start working for you without you even telling them to. <laughs> all right. So this is what we're going to be doing in uh, 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 the boot camp, January 20th or something. Just so y'all know, because I don't want you to uh, <clears throat> think that I don't practice what I preach. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. It's very loud here in Panama. You might have heard some gigantic truck. And I don't know. It's like they don't got mufflers or something or something weird out here. Anyway, all right, so let's go inside my site. This is one of my sites, my main sites, right? going to hit edit right here. 
So I showed you my platform that I bring affiliates in, but that doesn't mean I got affiliates. How do you know that I didn't just build a platform and and ain't nobody really <laughs> making money? Ain't nobody really promoting their offers and all of that. So we're gonna open that up. Okay, now I got I'm sharing in this dang on window. StreamYard sucks. Okay, so now I gotta start sharing. Um, <clears throat> LaBelle's lifestyle said, greeting to everybody. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Make sure you come back. Make sure you come back again. Check into back and let's begin. All right. So <clears throat> this is the window I'm going to share with you guys. Ah, no, that's the wrong window. I don't want to share that one. That's the one we just came from. Let me share the right window. All right. Uh, boom. All right. So this is the intern ship so just so you know everything is congruent you're like oh he's showing us somebody else's stuff <laughs> the name of his channel is anti-job not f a job dude it used to be called f a job but i wanted to grow up a little bit so i my logo used to be a giant big black middle finger with an a and a job on there we had the whole movement boy anti-job <clears throat> but now it's anti-job, right? Okay, so this is the internship for the people that couldn't, you know, we don't let nothing go to waste. For uh, for the people that couldn't afford to get into our mentorships and all of that, we created an internship. Remember, go out and make disciples. So in order to actually become a student in this internship, they will kind of become an affiliate. While they're learning and everything, they will be paying off their tuition by bringing us more referrals, baby. You understand what I'm talking about? So now we come to this page right here. This is the anti-job affiliate uh, program page. So, yes, we have affiliates in here and they've been in here for a long dang on time since like 2020 and stuff. If I can go back there. And then we got the ever job uh <clears throat> joint venture page right here see i've been showing y'all stuff listen since y'all came here y'all ain't even know me y'all ain't even know my name man and i've been showing y'all everything why because there's a lot of frauds there's a lot of fakers and i don't want to be put in the same category as these dudes you understand what i'm saying see look it goes all the way back since the beginning of the scamdemic 2020 baby you see all these people signing up baby to my partnerships and joint ventures baby listen I don't play no games, man. I don't play no games. All right. So then we got the rebuilding after uh, the Scamdemic 2020 page right here where we created more partnerships. And this is one of the ways I was dominating the Google snack packs. I was part. <laughs> we were partnering with people and we were using their residential addresses to build businesses to uh, list in the Google snack pack. This is how we were getting in one of the ways because we had a, a lot of ways in the Google Snack Pack Attack course, which I still have that course. But <laughs> this is one of the ways that we were able to pop up businesses all over the country, literally overnight. Sometimes we would be verifying hundreds of Google My Business listings per week and the leads would be just coming in instantly. The sales would just become this is what I'm trying to tell you, all dude. I'm different. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm different, y'all. You know, God has blessed me. This is my gift. Like we were talking about gifts at the beginning. You understand? We were talking about gifts at the beginning. This is my gift. You understand? I have a gift to help people. I have a gift to teach people. I have a gift to partner with people. I have a, a gift to help people grow and all of those things. And I get enjoyment and satisfaction out of that. This is what God uses me for. All right. <clears throat> I don't have a church or anything like that, but this is the gift that he gives me. Um, Colleen says real assets. Yes. Yes. Let them know, man. Let them know. Cause I don't like when nobody be trying to like compare me to nobody. That's one thing I do get a little irritated about, but the scripture says you're supposed to have patience, be patient and be gentle and kind and all of that extra stuff with people. The scripture also says be apt to teach. So that's why I'm so excited and so passionate about teaching you guys. Yeah. All right. Um, Paco. Do y'all remember the clothing line Paco back in the day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was cool. But anyway, Paco says, can you help me learn to make some money? Well, that, that's what this is about, man. Uh, TC still says Levi's made a fortune during the gold rush. Exactly. Yeah, they did. 
Um, <clears throat> Gary says, I didn't even see this. Come on, Paco, man. Keep it positive, bro. He said, I've been a failure my whole life. Check this out. Guess what? You still alive. Oh, you don't even want to hear that, did you? You still alive. You're not a failure. Only people that lose a fight is the one that stay down. I mean, you seen Rocky. That dude will sit there and get beat up the whole fight until the other person get, get tired. Then he just knock him out and boom, he won. What if he got hit a few times and be like, oh, you know, I ain't got no skills. You know, I ain't got no skills. I guess I give up. No. You just keep freaking getting up. You keep going. You ain't no failure. You haven't failed until you stop. You understand what I'm talking about? Don't call yourself that. All right. We don't have failures over here. So Mr. Gary Harrison says, my mind is definitely expanded after listening to you for the last four days. I appreciate the consistency. Uh, when I first found you, I just thought, oh, ebook. <laughs> that was the gateway drug, right? <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Um, I just thought, oh, ebook, maybe a course, but now I understand so much better the platform. That's that's where the power is, y'all. In order to make what the platform makes, you would have to sell a gazillion ebooks. But in order to make a crap load of money, you would you might only need a few hundred people on the platform. Do you you see the difference? If you're just selling the ebook, you got to sell a crap load of them. If you own a platform, you only need a, a few hundred people on there and you're making more than you ever made. If you got a good business model and you got active users and stuff, that's what we're going to be talking about in the boot camp. <laughs> All right. Um, Thea said, hey, Yaz real. Thank you for saying my name. Uh, uh, Yaz real. I'm interested in merging a few platforms together. Um Cool. Like, what? Well, well, don't tell your ideas on here. We can speak privately, or well, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, yeah. Don't tell. Don't tell her yet. Don't tell your pride. Yeah, but y'all heard it here first. <laughs> you know, you can give like a broad idea of what you're talking about just to build a little bit of interest because the goal is for all of us to work together. We can build our own little economy, economy, and buy from each other. For some reason, people think in order for me to be rich, I can't buy other people's stuff. Don't. All wealthy people have to use tissues. <laughs> just because I sell toupees don't mean I ain't got to wipe my butt, right? So just because you, just because you come a producer or a creator, don't mean you ain't still a consumer too. So yeah, all of us in here, we're gonna buy from each other. We're gonna be like a family of of business owners. That entrepreneur name has kind of been tainted, y'all. When I think of that name, I think all over the place. Don't really know what I'm doing. Inconsistent money. Um, a phase that might not last type stuff. When I think of that, that, that word entrepreneur, that's what I think of. That's why I say I cheat you entrepreneurship through asset ownership. I believe the real entrepreneurship is asset ownership. Anything else is just a hustler. You're just, you're just hustling to get by in my honest opinion. And that sucks. So uh, there you go. Jerron says directories, streaming platforms, all of that stuff. I mean, look at freaking Netflix. Now they can make their own original movies. But at first, all they did was they created a platform. You know what I'm saying? They got the licensing from all the old movies. And then they started reaching out to a whole bunch of independent people that create films that couldn't win at the film festival. <laughs> And they like put them on there like, hey, we're going to pay you every time people watch your movies, man. Let us put this on our platform, bro. This is a good deal for you, right? <laughs> Even YouTube. It's just, do YouTube create that? Look, you can go back and look at the first video ever uploaded uh, to YouTube from the creators of YouTube. But after that, that was it. Then it, they commenced to find people like us. And they say, look, if you keep on uploading... I give you a piece of the ad revenue. So what they did, they filled it up, made it free, free for you to, you know, build up, you know, put your content on there. They made it easy to go viral at first so that you can get addicted to it. And then they went and they told, hey, look, advertisers, look, business owners, we have this amount of people using our platform. You can run ads on here. And then once those business owners agreed, they came to you and they knew in order to keep you on the digital plantation, 
they had to share that ad revenue. Okay, we'll monetize you guys when you get to a certain point and we'll split that ad revenue with you. Just keep on uploading. They're even about to monetize shorts, even when they said they weren't going to monetize shorts. So the goal is to keep you on a digital plantation, but you should be thinking, how do I cre create my own digital plantation? How do I create my own digital plantations? Okay. So our, we're getting a lot of texts coming in asking about the link. And uh, like I said, once we get off here, guys, I might have to do that manually <laughs> because I let my VAs and stuff off early because what's going on in their country right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, posting the groups. Pay attention to the pinned comments. All right, so directories. Directories have multiple winners. This is why directories are some of my favorite platforms. All right, and there's so many ways to monetize it. You monetize a directory with ads. You monetize a directory by selling the leads. You monetize a directory by charging per call. You can monetize a directory uh, through also, if you got the payment gateways on there, you're going to get transaction fees. You can monetize a directory by getting a cut of the sale anytime something is sold. So it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways to monetize a directory, guys. <laughs> and there's so many niches that you can go into that don't have directories. I have over 600 niches that I gave my uh, drop service and students, and these are obscure niches, meaning it's not a lot of SEO competition, meaning if you created a directory, it will pop up on the first page of Google without you doing any super technical stuff, even though I give you my perfect SEO game plan anyway. So um, Paco says, so can you help me? I mean, that's what I'm here for, bro, but you got to help yourself, Mo. You understand what I'm talking about? He said, how can I contact you? Listen, it's in the comments. I just put it in there again. If you guys are not in the Facebook group, get in there and pay attention and participate in the Facebook group. You understand? And by the end of this week sometime, the social network, our social network, the asset that we're building will be done and it will be open to you guys. OK, so you just need to make sure you're still here. I know distractions, short attention spans, the freaking programming of the freaking internet. I know, I know you can forget about me in like three hours from now because you see something you suggested there. I know, I get it, but fight it. You got to fight it, y'all. You got to fight it. So come back here and um, you guys are going to get access to the Asset Empire uh, Mentorship somewhere between January 25th and 27th. So just continue coming here every day, whether I'm live or I'm just uploading, uh, not because I just want you to watch videos all day, because if you haven't noticed, I give you something every video or every time I go live. This is not just some dang on trend thing for me. You can go back and look at my videos that only got 50 views and you'll see I'm still the same dude, <laughs> still the same guy. I'm not just riding some trend and talking some stuff. Assets. We 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 uh, build banks for people, online banking platforms. We build affiliate networks for people. We build crypto exchange sites for people. Instead of you buying a crypto, swapping, trading, mining, and doing all that slave work, why don't you own the freaking exchange? and partner with YouTube channels and Facebook groups that are all about this cultish crypto. And guess what? You guys can come to my platform and buy cryptocurrency, and you're going to get paid from every trade, swap, sale, mine, all of that. On top of that, you can have your own native uh, token built. We can do that as well. <sighs> but crypto, in my opinion, right now is, is sucked. It sucks. So, but guess who it doesn't suck for? The platform owner. So <laughs> let's get to it, guys. Everybody talks about the bear market. Oh, it's not the bull market anymore. It's the bear market. Things is going low. Should I buy the dip? Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? The only person that ain't suffering is the platform owner. 
it doesn't matter what market it is as long as you guys are creating transactions on the platform that getting paid we're billions and doing all of that stuff you see what i'm talking about i hope you all see it okay so chaz says what was your affiliate marketing website again it's called anti-job affiliate army.com anti-job affiliate army.com but I'm not trying to turn you into an affiliate. Ain't y'all getting that? I'm not trying to get you to go promote my offers. I'm trying to get you to create your own. And then you have affiliates promoting your stuff. You understand what I'm talking about? So Edward says, so are you still giving the extras when you sign up and text you? Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. He said, I get what you're saying. <laughs> he said, anti what? Anti-job, baby. Anti-job. We don't deal with the nine to fives over here, baby. We don't do that because no matter what promotion they give you, you'll never be able to pass the company down to your children. All right. I don't care if they paying you a salary of five hundred thousand dollars a year. You still got to ask for time off. You still got to deal with company policy. You still can't do what you want to do. So you're just a high paid digital plant, a high paid plantation worker. I just say that. Um next ftx <laughs> right whatever you want to say dude like on the platform though whether it's a crypto exchange whether it, it doesn't matter you need to get y'all y'all minds need to be completely changed now to ownership that's the whole goal i hope i hope and pray that i am dude i'm freaking look at my lips man they just hey listen hey somebody come fill up <laughs> yes i'm ghetto Somebody come fill up my water, please, dude. I'm like, I'm getting like cotton mouth. You know what I'm saying? From like, like, come on. Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's my daughter right there. You understand? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, man, like, I don't even remember what I was saying. I'm starting to get sleepy now. Yeah, I told you I've been up since like three. Like, I, I can't help it. Like, I get up super early. So I'm supposed to be sleep. I'm supposed to be going to sleep like right now or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm super energetic at like three or four, but most of y'all ain't up. Are y'all up at like three or four in the morning? Let me know. I don't know. Maybe we can talk at that time, but your spouse probably won't like it though. Um, <clears throat> so make sure you guys just set on the norm. I can't promise that we're going live tomorrow, but that don't mean disappear. Still come to the channel. I'm still going to upload uh, to the channel, but I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow. To A lot of this was off the cuff. Like I didn't know how deep you guys were uh, in, in, in trying to learn this stuff. So now I feel good that I have you guys' attention and I can actually teach people some real stuff. I'm so happy the reception is more than just you just want to make some money of course y'all gonna make some money but i want you to have wealth thank you i appreciate it Woo, man i'm thirsty as a virgin in the strip club yeah <laughs> all right so uh he said appreciate the time i'll check you soon that's what self-made said appreciate you bro um i appreciate a lot of all y'all from staying on her for long this long time we've been on her for, we've been on her for like two hours for the new people that came on here i promised that i was going to show you guys the software that i showed at the beginning so i'm gonna show you guys the software from yesterday and i'm gonna show you guys the software from today so uh stay on here i know y'all sleeping some of y'all i haven't ate yet so just give me about 15 more minutes i'm going to show you guys the software that i'm going to send you af absolutely free for is a prospecting software and you're going to get that as a bonus when you sign up at the uh link the builder all link that I put in the chat. Okay. So once you got a profile on there and builder all itself is a magnificent, uh, I talked about a theme park product yesterday. So go back and watch that, um, uh, replay if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so once you sign up to that, you're going to get like three courses that I've charged thousands for. Um, I'm going to send that to you guys. That's going to get you Paco. And who was the other one that was Muhammad? Those free courses that I'm going to send you, I've charged thousands for. I've had masterminds for those courses. I'm going to send those to you guys when you sign up to build a raw as a bonus. On top of that, I'm going to send you the AI bot 
software for prospecting that I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the last software and then I'll let you go for the night. But make sure you just stay to the end for this. OK, so one, two, three. All right. So today I told you guys I was going to show you some of the softwares and the bots that we use. So this is an Instagram scraper right here. Remember, I was telling you we would get all of their numbers and uh, DM information and phone numbers and all of that. You can search by hashtag. All right, you're going to put a delay in there for 10 seconds so it doesn't lock up your Instagram account. You're going to put your maximum result that you want to scrape for now. <clears throat> Let me just show you guys how it works. I'm late to actually come to the class. All right, so we'll put the hashtag realtor in there right now. And we're just going to pick the account that we're logged into. And then we're going to press start. So all of our lead scraping can be done on Sundays and all of that stuff and scheduled out. All right. So as you can see, it's gathering all of their user information and all of that. OK, so then once we have their DMs and all of that, watch this. This is the software that I sent you guys. Some of you guys don't know how to use it. Let me open it up. All right. So you once you downloaded it and it extracted it, you'll notice this in the download area. It should be in the download area under this name right here. This right here. You don't have to have this. Just keep this file, keep it named this, and then you just switch it out with whatever new leads that you scraped. OK, and when you want to uh, change the message, you'll open this with a notepad. As you can see, like how I did right here, you see I'm starting on line 442. I'm going to change that to 52 so I don't send the same people the same message and I have a 60 day uh 60 second delay which I usually want to change okay so um and here is the message that's going to send in the email and in the DM as well okay so now I'm going to save it <coughs> close that out then I'm going to click on the application part <coughs> close that out as you can see the scraper is still running in the background so now we're waiting for this <laughs> To open up come on come on come on let's go okay so i'm just going to show you guys a quick rundown because i actually have to be on the live with you guys right now <laughs> okay all right so as you can see it's opening up instagram usually you would uh log into your instagram but you only have to do it one time and then it will remember and log you in automatically and then you would just come right here once you're logged in to instagram and press enter so now it's going to take us over to gmail right now okay come on speed it up speed it up let's go let's go let's go if this is too long it won't let me upload it to freaking uh um stream yard so i can show y'all okay as you can see it's going slow slow because i'm using all these softwares at the same time come on go to gmail oh i didn't even press enter Jeez, i thought i pressed enter <clears throat> okay so now we're on gmail you log into your gmail OK, so once you're logged in, then we're just going to be able to come back down here again and press enter, enter again. So now it's going to take it back over to Instagram and I'm going to let it run through one sequence so you guys can see it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might not even freaking upload. All right. So as you can see, it's going to line 452. Boom. OK, so it's going back to Instagram. You can see it going back to Instagram right here and it's going to open up the latest post. It's doing it by itself. As you can see, I'm not moving the mouse. I guess I sent this guy a message already before. <laughs> OK, that's why you want to remember which line you're on. So as you can see, this can run in the background while you're doing other things all day, prospecting for you, generating leads for you, generating sales for you. So after it puts a comment on the last post, it's going to open up the messenger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Watch it open up message right now. I'm late, guys. Look at that. All right. So now it's about to send them the message. As you can see, I got my URL in there, the bit.ly link. Boom. That's going to my booking calendar. So now it's going to close this out. Watch this. And it's going to send them an email with the same message, with the same booking calendar and all of that. And it will literally just do this all day, like all day, setting appointments for you and doing all of that extra stuff. You don't need a virtual assistant anymore. And remember what I showed you guys in Builder all the other day. You see the mouse still haven't moved yet. All right. So it's sending that. It put the subject line in there. It put everything in there. 
Okay, boom, sent that message. All right, so now it's going to wait 60 seconds and then it's going to go and do it all over again to the next line, to the next lead. All right, so. All right, so <clears throat> what did you guys think of that software right there? You understand? That is the software, the AI bot that we built. So I build tools, I build assets. Yes, I do. I practice what I preach and they make life way easier. You can use it to sell anything you want to sell, man. All right. You understand what I'm saying? I can sell salt to a slug. <laughs> no. Anyway. OK, I'm getting sleepy. I start getting goofy when I'm sleepy. Right. All right. But that software, that's the one that I send you when you sign up to build a route for free. So now I'm going to show you the other software for those of you guys who weren't at the here at the beginning. Make sure you stay on here. Here we go. So it's not too many people showing real proof of how they're making money with chat GPT. So what I did was I came over here and I asked chat GPT to do the best keyword research and scrape all of the keywords for plastic surgeons, uh, chiropractors and dentists. What is going to happen? I am going to automate a way using an AI bot to send them a link to my funding opportunity where they can get new equipment and pay their employees or whatever. And I could get commissions for that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send to thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of these doctors at the same time, this affiliate link. And guess what? It's going to go to their sites and it's going to fill out thousands and thousands of contact forms while you guys do this manually. So all of these guys in Google, they're going to get a message from me. How? We're going to come over here right now. We took the data that we had from uh, chat GPT and we plugged it in here as keywords. We're going to open up project settings. And as you can see, all of the keywords suggested by chat GPT are inside here. Okay. So then what we do is we're going to close this out and watch this guys. I told you guys, I'll show you every dang on thing, man. All right. We're going to press start and scrape new websites. And as you can see down here at the bottom, look already is scraped 43 websites. All right. These are chiropractors, dentists, plastic surgeons, people that have budgets between five thousand to twenty thousand dollars easily. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them the funding. And what's going to happen with the funding after they get their equipment, they're going to have enough money left over for us to do some magnifico marketing. All right. And this idea all came from chat GPT. Told you guys. So we use chat GPT for ideas research and what will make us the most money and we combine it with other AI tools and automation tools to do the outreach and mass uh, effect. Okay. So as you guys can see, this works is already scraped around 285 uh, websites. So what's going to happen is once it's done, you would then press stop right here and then you will click uh, again and then you would send the messages, but I want to keep it running so that I can send these later. OK, so I'll go more in depth on the training tonight when you guys are with me live. All right. We're back about 30 minutes later or so uh, paused it or whatever. Part two. Anyway, as you can see, it scraped around five thousand five hundred and eighty two uh, contact forms from all of these websites. As you can see, is chiropractors is a uh, dentist is plastic surgeons all of these in the united states so what we're going to do just for this example is and this all plays into the directory so say you got your business directory instead of the funding link that i'm sending out you will be sending them that so we're going to stop that right here i want to show you something real quick go to project url go you like well okay you show me the keywords yeah it's real uh, what else? OK, so then you come to the submission form right here. So as you can see, it's automatically going to fill out the captures in case you were wondering that this is what it's going to do It's automatically going to fill out the contact form. So it got the name, uh, <laughs> the name of the company, you know, email, the phone number. That's a tracking number. Right. OK, then it's going to uh, give uh the subject line right here i need a doctor asap remember this is targeting chiropractors plastic surgeons and dentists and then they got the message right here howdy um you know i can hook you up basically okay so that's the message okay all right so 
Now that you guys see that, how do you send? How do you start sending the messages? So we're going to click on it again, and then we're going to hit start. So now, as you can see, it's highlighted. It wasn't highlighted in the other video. So all of those 5,000 uh, websites, it's going to hit those websites up and start sending messages uh, into the contact forms all at once. So we're going to hit that. Uh, it says use only selected items. Yes. Uh, I was asking me to preview my message one more time. And then I'm going to say, I want to. Yeah. Okay. So continue. Boom. So now it is busy and it's about to start sending the messages. So it's just going to send the messages to all of those. All right. <clears throat> so what you guys think, man? What do y'all think? All right. <laughs> like I know people with social media marketing agencies and digital marketing agencies still teaching people to go out and manually scrape email lists, buy email lists, <laughs> still telling you to like manually send emails and code DMs. What the hell, man, when you can literally just play a software and it will do all of that. And it could do more than you any human could ever do in a day. I remember they said if you work at a telemark, I used to work at a telemarketing company. Matter of fact, on average, if you're very active, and in, in an eight-hour um, time slot, you would want to send at least two hundred calls, right? <clears throat> at least two hundred calls to get some sales or appointments or whatever you're trying to do. But check this out, man. A ringless voicemail. I can plug 10,000 phone numbers into a ringless voicemail right now. And in like 15 minutes, it will be done sending my voicemail clip out to 10,000 phone numbers. And then when they call my tracking number back, a recording will play. It will say, yes, I did call you. And I called you about this or that opportunity. Press one if you want to speak to someone live. Press two if you want me to text you a booking calendar. Press three if you want me to send you more information or press four if you want to be taken off the freaking list. Why am I still going? Why is people teaching you to cold call when you can do stuff like that? <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so Tyrone New is man, I'm saying your name wrong like a mug. I know I am. Is Ty Ty Tyronius? Tyronius? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Um, he said, Sorry, I broke for supper. What software was that? <laughs> I'm going to give you guys all of that software, all that, all that stuff. Go and join the Facebook group now, man. Fung out right now, right? Um, Garrison, I mean, Gary said, I won't be able to see it the same way ever again, <laughs> uh, which is a good thing. Not that it was bad before. It was just thinking small. I'll be here on Saturday looking forward to it. All praises to the most high. Tyrone, we is. Oh, 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 the last one. My last attempt was close. Tyrone, Tyrone, we is. Hey, I like that. That's, that's a decent, like, uh, creative name. All right. So on Sabbath day, guys, um, ladies, if you're going to attend, make sure you bring a covering. All right. When praying and prophesying is against the head. All right. If you're not married, then your head is your which is the who the world calls Christ. It's disrespect if you have your head uncovered. Men, when you show up, you're supposed to have your head uncovered. If you have your head covered like how I got a hat on right now, then it is disrespect to your head, which is your Hawashai. So the order, according to the scripture, is God, your Hawashai, which is Christ, man, woman, children. If you cover your head as a woman, then you're disrespecting your husband. If you don't have a husband, then you're disrespecting Christ. A man is supposed to have his head uncovered. Y'all understand? All right. So set your alarms, reminders, whatever you need to do. Of course, I'm going to remind you throughout the week. Uh, set your alarms for 11 
well, you want to do uh, five minutes before or something like that, maybe 10, 50, uh, you know, look at me, I'm sleepy. That's 10 minutes before. I set it for 10, 50 on Sabbath. Please don't stay out Friday night doing dumb stuff that's going to make you miss because we're going to go over some. You think this stuff is powerful? This is nothing compared to what you're going to find out has been in that book collecting dust on your grandmama's table your whole life. The Bible will reveal some things about business that that you never like. Come on, yo. When I saw this stuff, I'm like, people made me think this was just this feel good. Hallelujah. You know, man, that is a is a history book about a royal family. It's a prophetic book about what's to come. But it's also an instruction manual for those that are in this captivity to know how to maneuver through this world. And in this world, you have to have this. So that is included in there. I never knew. And I never would have made it. No. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I told y'all when I'm sleepy, I get goofy, right? Okay, so just make sure y'all here, man. I'm still be sending y'all messages through uh, throughout the rest of the week. I don't know if I'm going to go live again uh, this week. I'm super tired and drained and everything, but don't lose the steam that you guys have. Make sure you're signing up to the things that I'm recommending you to. Set you guys a budget or something. Don't be skeet with yourself. You understand what I'm talking about? Go and use these tools. Utilize these tools while they're here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff get like taken down and they'll create a new version of it. It's software as I came across from like five years ago on a YouTube video. And I'm like, damn, where is that? And I go to Google it and it's discontinued. I'm like, ah, you understand what I'm saying? So take advantage of a lot of this stuff. Don't be afraid of it. Leverage it. All right. Uh, Gary says, because of what is going on with your VAs in their country, will you be dropping the software in the group or should we just be patient and wait for your VAs? No, of course I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'll do it. I'm not, you know, too good to do things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not too good. Just going to like the automate a lot of stuff. Don't mean I don't do nothing. Y'all, you understand? Matter of fact, I'm waiting for my dang on workout equipment to get here. It takes forever for stuff to get here from America and Panama. Uh, so I'm about to do a lot more stuff that you don't think I want to do, like work out, right? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I gained a lot of weight this past year, dude. I got to get this stuff out of here. I want to be spiritually, financially, physically fit. You understand what I'm talking about? <sighs> So, yes, I am going to go in a group. I'm going to recommend to you everything that you guys need. Make sure you're paying attention. Make sure you're participating. Like, I'll see that people are seeing posts and ain't saying nothing. This morning, I said good morning to people, and I, it shows you that people seen it, but some of y'all ain't say nothing back. That's super rude and disrespectful. You can let, show yourself the door if you're that type of person, all right? I'm trying to build communities with like-minded people, Okay. All right. So we participate in we help each other. All right. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to recommend everything to you guys. I'm not going to be pitchy or salesy. I'm just going to show you guys things that I use. If you want to go and use it to build your businesses, to use it. The thing that I am going to sell you, that's all the way in, in January something. So put your pennies, put your pennies aside because this is something that you want. Don't go out to the club. Don't buy no fast food. Save whatever you can freaking save. Handle your rent. Do all of that stuff because you're not going to want to miss the Asset Empire Boot Camp. It's going to be a combination of a course and an, a live boot camp. We're going to go live and actually build our assets together for eight weeks in that boot camp. And you're going to get lifetime access to all of the replays that we do inside the boot camp in our communities that we're going to be building and everything inside there as well. So let's recap. It's going to be a course. Some people will just get the course. I think the course might be two, two grand, two grand. That's what I sold. That's like the base thing that I sold, like the Godfather of drop servicing for at the beginning of the scamdemic. Right. So two grand. 
But if you want the course and the boot camp, that'd probably be twenty five hundred. But the course would be awesome too. It's still gonna have everything. You're still gonna get the replays. You just won't be on there live with us and everything. So I would recommend you guys start setting that aside now. I'm sorry that you spend money at your pagan Christmas. I'm sorry that you spend money at your pagan January 1st, which is not the new year. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. And it ain't got nothing to do with your business goals. And you need to realize that. So I am going to give you guys all of me in this boot camp. So give me all of you when it's time to purchase that course. All right. <clears throat> so I love you guys. Laura's will. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go live or anything. You guys will get some type of update if I do. When you see the emails as well, make sure you open the emails. All right. Because I'll probably send videos and little um, um, value and updates and things that you can be doing with your businesses to make money right now. I don't want you guys to be waiting for the, the boot camp to make money. You understand what I'm saying? I want you making money right now. Right. So open your emails check out the community post, go in the Facebook group. We're going to stay in contact with each other. We're going to build a community. All right. Love you guys. Uh, Lars, we'll see you guys later.